Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Laser Tonic Kinetic Core Road Cycling Helmet. Laser's new Tonic Kinetic Core Helmet is designed for recreational cyclists looking for an affordable cycling helmet. The helmet combines Laser's innovative Kinetic Core safety system with a sleek profile and ventilation. In terms of packaging, you can see a very basic cardboard box, Laser branding printed directly on there, and then the Kinetic Core branding as well. We have the size medium in the white color, and you can see the helmet is very easy to access right through this little slot. We'll go ahead and take this out of the box and go over the specs. Retail price on this is $79.99, so very affordable, especially compared to Laser's higher end offerings. It has a four star Virginia Tech rating, which is very good. And you have the Kinetic Core safety system, which is a setup of multiple crumple zones made out of EPS foam. This has the advanced turn sys fit system. So you have a dial on the rear with a wraparound plastic design and then easy to adjust side straps. This has 28 vents, so really well ventilated. And because there's no MIPS or additional liners on the inside, you can see it goes right through and flows air through it. This is also compatible with Laser's universal rear LED, which is what this little slot in the back is. It just sl slides in and locks in place. In terms of what comes with the helmet, Obviously you get the helmet, a little bit of tags and branding on here that explain kinetic core. And then a little safety manual down here as well. There is no bag for this, which is not surprising given the affordable price point. Now let's take a look at the weight of the helmet. This is a size medium for the North America market. And this comes in at 250, which is pretty close to the claimed 240 grams. So a pretty lightweight. Laser describes the tonic kinetic core design as inconspicuous and able to blend in anywhere. It's available in three different sizes, small, medium, large, and seven different color schemes that include front to rear fades. We have the plain white version. You can see it's a glossy finish. Looks pretty good, even though design is a little bit more subtle. It's not too flashy, but still really blends in well with more expensive helmets. It's obvious Laser's held back a little bit with its design, so you have these Standard swoopy design frame in the middle. Rectangular cutouts, but they're not too de over designed. Just basic rectangle cutouts, little insets in here. You can also see the little eyewear dock on the edge. It's a little rubber, and that allows the, your sunglasses to sit against that and hold it in place. What makes this a cheaper helmet is the fact that you have all this exposed foam. That's something you don't see with higher end helmets. The whole rim is not finished, so you have an edge between the shell and the actual foam construction. And you can already see this will show some dents over time and it just really doesn't look quite as polished. Also some of the edges between the foam and the shell aren't quite as sharp as higher end helmets. So one obvious sign this is a little bit more affordable. And at $80, it's about half or a quarter the price of some of their higher end offerings. The fit system is very simple. You can see you have a dial on the back side, and it's a nice Texture design too, so it feels really easy. You don't get the belt adjustment that you get with the higher end laser helmets. Those are nice to have, but obviously it's the same functionality here. You can adjust it. And this also has up and down. You just simply apply a little pressure and you can see the whole cradle goes up and down. Nice padding on here. And then this bright green Kinetic Core. What's really cool about Kinetic Core is the fact you don't need MIPS. The MIPS or rotational impact part of it is actually these EPS crumple zones. So it's kind of a distinctive design from laser and it makes this helmet a lot more affordable as you have less parts. So you can see all these little blocks here. These are designed to crumple if you had an accident. You have nice green bright foam on here which is Velcroed on and nice and comfortable. So padding exactly where you need it. And again, the cradle has these nice big extensions that sit flat against the back of your head. You don't have anything fancy with fit lock or magnetic buckles, just a standard buckle that works really well. A little laser branded holder for any excess and easy to adjust side straps. So overall, really nice helmet and very affordable. So it's something you can use for road cycling, commuting, or really any type of activity that involves a bike. Here you can see the helmet on the road with our Priority Sauce bike. And overall, we're really impressed with the helmet. Even though it is a budget helmet, you get all the adjustment and comfort you really need. And honestly, it's probably the best one in the laser lineup as you get the Kinetic Core technology at a much more affordable price point. You can even find really nice color schemes 
that look more premium than the price would suggest. The helmet itself is also really comfortable because it's lightweight. At about 250 grams, you don't really feel it on your head. You don't have any additional liners like a MIPS liner on the inside that would block airflow. So you get airflow right through it. It keeps you nice and cool. So if you're doing long stints on the bike or riding on a hot day, it's a nice helmet to keep you cool. You can also see the rear taillight that we've attached to this. This is the universal laser LED and it gives you a little bit of extra visibility as it protrudes out. So a good option if you're doing urban riding. So again, financially, it's probably the best helmet in the laser lineup, although it might not be the most distinctive visually. Now let's do a little comparison across Laser's helmet lineup. We have their high-end Vento, the mid-level Strata, we have the Tonic, which is their more affordable option, and then the budget Tempo here. You can see, if we compare the Tempo and the Tonic first, they're very similar designs. In fact, it looks like the molds are almost identical. The vents on here are larger on the Tonic here. It's about $20 more than the Tempo. And you can see the side vents are actually cut out on the Tonic while the Tempo actually has them filled in, which helps it achieve this one-piece design, while it appears like these might have a two-piece shell. You can see otherwise very similar design, and they're both shallow road cycling style helmets, so they're pretty shallow, they're not like a solid dome. They sit high up on your head, plenty of room for sunglasses, and they don't extend very far on the rear. They're both pretty attractive, but you can see the budget price means you have exposed foam on the edges, as well as more foam on the vents. One big difference between the Tonic and the Tempo is the fact that the more affordable one is a one-size-fits-all, while all the other ones offer you different sizes from small, medium to large. The fit system is also a little bit different. With this one, you get height adjustable cradle, a standard dial, and then you can see the straps here are actually built into the helmet on the Tonic, while the more affordable Tempo has this more unusual interconnected design. So this same strap runs through here and actually runs through the full helmet so you can adjust it back and forth. Not quite as fitted as the higher end helmets, but still works well. All of these have the light attachment too. So with any kinetic core helmet, you can purchase the optional rear LED. And this has a motion and ambient light sensor and gives you some more visibility. This is a great option if you're doing urban riding where you want to be seen. So two great offerings. I would say the Tonic is probably the one to get if you're on a budget because it looks really good. You have all the ventilation and you still get the variable sizing to get the one that really fits you. As you go up in the price, that's when you get some additional features. This is the Strata. You can see a little more stylized than say the Tonic or the Tempo with this two-piece design. So you have a separate color on the bottom. More swoopy, but they're both shallow. So still shallow road cycling design. Get more graphics options with this. It's almost like a sunset feature. Big vents, and again, with this more expensive design, you get that fully finished shell. So it covers up that rim with the foam only on the inside. All of these have the kinetic core feature though. So you can see the little crumple zones on the inside. It eliminates the need for a MIPS liner or any additional pieces. So it keep them, keeps them all really lightweight. The other difference between the Tempo, Tonic, and the higher end offerings is the fact that you have a basic dial versus the belt system. A little bit of a novelty, but it does keep the rear open. So if you have long hair, you might want to consider the Strata or the Vento. At the top end, you have the Vento, which is more aerodynamic. So less open vents, but you have these little hidden vents on the side with the speed dimples. So a little cooler looking, and again, with that belt cyst design, it keeps it everything really simple and the rear cradle open versus say the Tonic, which has a more traditional rear dial. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Kinetic Core Tonic helmet. What we like about it is that you have a budget-friendly price at sub $100 price. It's really affordable for just about anybody and gives you all the features you really need. Also, Laser offers it in a wide range of color schemes, including front to rear fades. So you can find the one that matches your personality and kit. You also have a comfortable and well-ventilated design that keeps you cool on the road, whether you do short or long rides. The main negative with this helmet is the fact that it is more budget friendly, which means you have an exposed foam on the rim, unlike the fully finished helmets at a higher price point. Taking everything into account would give the Tonic Kinetic Core 9.4 out of 10. It's a really budget friendly cycling helmet with the Kinetic Core technology. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.